welcome to my channel. I'm going to be showing you guys some Stardew Valley gameplay today. Hope you enjoy it. So pretty. Stardew Valley. Right, we're going to start a new one. Mm, I'm going to do a girl and her name is going to be Lola. And I'm just going to use my farm from when I played it last time. What I made last time. Favourite thing. Mm. Sand. <laughs> She's gonna have purple hair, like me. Even my mum's not really this purple. <laughs> that's funky. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, she can have that one. Um, <laughs> purple shirts match up purple hair. And she can have black. Um, yeah, that'll do. Okay, what farm? We've got the standard farm, a simple plot of land with a large amount of open space to design your farm. Riverland farm, this is what I had last time when I played. Your farm is spread across several islands and scenic riverbanks. Fish are more common here than usual. Forest farm, the woods limit your farming space, however, the bounty of the forest is nearly at your doorstep. Hilltop farm, rocky terrain and a winding river make it difficult to design your farm. However, a mineral deposit provi provides mining opportunities and wilderness farm. There's plenty of good land here, but beware, at night the monsters come out. Hmm. Maybe the hilltop farm. I'll go for something different. Right, let's start. And for my very special granddaughter, I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. <laughs> now, listen close. What's he doing with that? <laughs> There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Oh. <laughs> when that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. <clears throat> Now let grandpa rest. XX years later. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't have to do anything yet. Georgia. He's licking his lips. <laughs> oh, look, there's me with my purple hair. That looks so boring. <clears throat> now the envelope. Would I have to do click on it? Dear Lola, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life real connections with other people and nature, so I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pr pride and joy at Elderhorn Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my, was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honour the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? I will, Grandpa.
Lufthavn och buss. Going to my farm. <laughs> Hello, you must be Lola. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. This is Elderhorn Farm. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Mm, yeah, <laughs> hopefully it don't take too long. And here we are, your new home. Yeah, that looks cute. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Well, I feel privileged. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. <laughs> I like rustic, it's fine. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt though. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Lola. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Got 500 gold. Right. Parsnip seeds and a new journal entry. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Got my journal. Introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to, so to till the soil, then use a seed pack packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. God, that's a lot, lot of words. <laughs> Water every day until the crop is ready to har for harvest. Right, we'll plant them parsnips then. What's this? Small crystal. Oh, nice. Right, we need to get rid of some of this though. using my hoe, I'm gonna hoe some soil. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this sap, I'm gonna set it. What else am I going to sell? 
Mm. No, that's about it so far. Right, now let's go and meet some peeps in the town. What is that? Oh, it's a woodpecker. Get some flowers, dandelions, and some daffodils. No, there's someone there. I can see them. That's not Robin, don't confuse. That's Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You too. Let's go in here and see if anyone's in here. Not only one person. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Is there anyone else in here? I think so. No. It's a bit early to go in the saloon, I suppose. There's someone there. Hi. What's her name? Penny. Oh, did you want something? No, I just wanted to say hello. Mm, let's go to the beach. Oh, of course, my inventory is full. Definitely can run away. <laughs> and I might be someone in here. Right, obviously not. Is there no one else around on the beach? It's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. Right then. Let's see who else we can find. But over here. Oh, there's someone there. Hello there, welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. It's Gunther. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? If I don't forget, I will. Oh, no, I actually want to talk to you. Uh, hi, I'm Clint. <laughs> Fit in the pro blacksmith. <laughs> I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Cool. Who else is there? Go up here. A little bunny rabbit. Oh, there might be people in here. Hello. Welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja Customer Sat Satisfaction Representative. <laughs> when you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Hmm, okay then. I'm so to you. No, I can't. What about you? Hey kid, the name's Pam. Hey. Hey girl. Oh, I don't know if I can speak to these people. Sam's on the clock. Better not get him in trouble. Oh, sorry. about you? Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Yeah, I feel you, bro. <laughs> mm. Oh, look. She's got the same kind of hair as me. Hello. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. You're just jealous because we got the same hair. 
usually small though. <laughs> right in here. Oh, there was someone there. Have I met you before? Oh, maybe I have. Oh, Alex. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. Hey, Alex. Nice to meet you. Oh, okay. Oh, somebody there. Oh, there's those people around here now. Oh, let's talk to you first because you're on the move. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Oh, she's cute. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, everyone's so friendly. Where else haven't I been? Oh, there's some peeps around here. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. And you, mate. Oh, that's him again. Oh, there's more people in here now. Move! Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Cool. Who's that? Is that? Oh, it's Leah. Oh, 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 who's that? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Cool. How many more have I got to do? Oh, I only have 15. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Well, that's not very nice. Hey, it's Miss Lola, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll, always, I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Hmm, that's good to know. Who's this lady? Hello, you must be Lola, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Ah, uh, the man's got funky hair. I love it. I bet I can't go in here though. You're not good enough friends with Abigail to enter her bedroom. Oh, I've met her already, it's fine. It's locked. Open 9am to 3pm. Oh, okay. <laughs> what about up here? Grabbing that daffodil. Oh, there's nothing on there. Mm. Let's go up here. Oh, that's Robin, I think. Yeah. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Yep, and it's already 7.30 p.m. Is he gonna go to his room or something? No. <laughs> Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Nice to meet you. Nice. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Well, that's good. Let's 
go in here? A stranger. Hello. Ah. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Oh, he's so cute. Maybe I should go home now. Oh, my energy's pretty low as well, I didn't even notice that. Whoops. Oh, I want it. What can I get rid of? Nothing. Uh, I'll have to come back tomorrow and get that. Oh, there's more there as well. Oh, that was quick. Mm, can I get that stuff? No. Right, let's sell these daffodils. Or maybe some of them. Maybe we can give some to people. Mm. Right, let's go to bed. Day one of spring, year one. So I only got 124 gold for sap, daffodil and dandelion. Right, well, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you liked it in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to me. I upload new videos every week. I haven't set a day yet because I'm... Not sure. <laughs> this is all very new to me, but I'm trying. So thanks. Oh, why you can't.